question for Miami this Saturday. Could they bounce back from that disappointing loss at Virginia? And the answer is emphatically yes. 40 to 9, they beat South Florida. Rich Waltz along with Keith Jones. Now, it's a rivalry in a sense that it's the same state. A lot of kids know each other. And they've had two very close and better battles the last two years. But Miami, a, a lopsided win here. It could have very easily been even worse. Miami could have scored 60 or 70. However, you got to take your hats off to USF. They come back from unbelievable disadvantage. They play their hearts out, but Miami's just too big for them. And it was the Stephen Morris show early that uh, Jake Whitecloth field goal got the scoring started. Uh, three nothing start into the second quarter and that's when Miami got rolling it was the defense Jimmy Gaines with a pickoff there of Matt Floyd Floyd in because Bobby Evel the starter was hurt and Morris went to work into the corner finding Kendall Tompkins for the touchdown and a 16 3 lead before it was all over Morris would throw for well over 400 there'd be three different Miami receivers with over 100 apiece. Duke Johnson here gets in from about seven or eight yards out. Here's one of the two long plays in the second half. Herb Walters on the receiving end of a Morris touchdown pass. And I really thought Stephen Morris continued to play with a lot of poise, even with the lead. Right here, he makes a good decision not to throw the ball, keeps his vision upfield, finds his big tight end, and off he goes for 135 yards. Clive Walford. 65 yard catch there and there's your final 40 to 9 numbers wise impressive offensively uh, you look at the passing yards 456 yards Miami well over 500 yards total offense they did well on third down they cut down on their turnovers this was a game that Miami was expected to win they came out and did what they needed to do to win yeah, and certainly Al Golden concerned about focus and uh, Jen Hildreth caught up after the ball game. Coach, your team gets that all-important six win, but I have to ask, what indication have you been given on whether a chance you guys will get a chance to play in a bowl? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I would, it was just uh, a hard-fought win for us. You know, obviously, it's been a grueling year. Kids are fighting hard, playing hard. A lot of young guys stepped up today. Really proud of the seniors. They've been through a lot. They led us today. They played tough. And, uh, you know, you know, we'll, uh, we'll live with what happens tomorrow. But tonight, we're going to enjoy it. With all of the uncertainty around you, how do you navigate that with your team? What do you tell them? They just, you know, continue to be mentally tough, be the same guy every day, consistency of message, and just, you know, for them to understand that the coaches, myself, President Shalala, the athletic department, we're in for the long haul. We'll get this fixed. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Admirable listening to Al Golden. You made the point during the telecast. Golden and his staff walked into this and inherited a mess. And out of the mess, uh, they've turned out a, a pretty good football team, a very young football team that's going to be really good next year. Despite everything that has occurred, Al Golden will still look you in the eye as he did us in our meetings on Friday and says, I still believe I'm here for a reason. I believe I'm the man for this job and I'm going to continue to do this job. And uh, I think he and his staff have done a remarkable job given their circumstance. And one game left as this Miami team will travel on the road to take on Duke to finish off their ACC regular season. The final here, Miami 40-9 over South Florida.